what's up you wonderful guys and ghouls out there welcome back to my channel it is our CJ with another unboxing and review art supplies from wish <laughs> yep and um we have here today it's a pretty big package Hold on. So I'm gonna send all my information out there it's pretty thick so let me see if I can open this thing without revealing my address. Not that anybody wants to come here, but I guess you can never be too careful nowadays. Ooh, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, plasticky smell. When in doubt, uh, scissor it out. Scissor it out. That the it sounds kind of wrong, but that's okay too. Yeah. I mean, I guess I appreciate the protective little covering. Jeez, Hang on, guys. This is gonna be a fight. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, yeah. Alright, there. Sheesh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think it just. Oh, a trash bag. Oh, I was actually thinking they were gonna come in like a little cylinder esque. Oh, screw it. Just cut it off. Cylinder esque um, holding thing. But, nah. But, I am excited to see. A lot of freaking markers. Golly. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let me, let me, let me see if I can. Turn. That is a lot of freaking markers. Look at that. That is insane. I, is the camera getting all of it? Look at look at all the colors. Oh man. So yeah, I am going to make swatches of all of these. That might take a while, but as far as I can tell, the brand name is called Dual Art Marker. Maybe that's not the brand name. I think that's just describing the marker. But um, anyway, it's like the broad brush tip and um eh, it's like a fine ooh they weren't kidding about the fine part wow it actually um the the fine tip part kind of reminds me of the tips on um oh my gosh the statler my state uh stay atler um pins yeah those things. Wow, that's actually very surprising. I was expecting something more on the line of um the Tombos fine tip. Let me see if I can get one more Tombos. This is what I was expecting. I mean, you know, not that I'm hating on it. I'm just like, oh, I'm expecting that. And they say fine tip. I know I picked up another color. They actually mean this can you see that oh it's kind of blurry hold on but yeah that huh. so yeah i'm gonna make oh swatches of all of these and i will see you guys in a little bit <laughs> okay bye but as you can see i've started some swatches um i can't really like describe the colors other than the like shades of pink and blue and stuff 
because they didn't come with a color chart, but I'm gonna try my best to group them in like little sections and you know, just show off the colors. Yup. made all the swatches I know like not all the markers are in frames it's just so many and there's only so much I can do with my little setup here but yeah these are all the colors though these are all the colors I know the swatches are like really teeny tiny I'm sorry I don't know I'm still learning forgive me but yeah but um let's see right off the bat some cons like I said they're they're not labeled like number color anything they're just there like even like even like um, the uh, hoo hoo markers like even though they don't have like colors on them they at least have like a label on like the tops of them so it's like something to go by but with these markers it's like nothing so I'm like uh, what am I gonna do I mean I guess I could go and like tape and like label them with numbers and stuff like that but I don't feel like doing that so yeah that's a, a eh, for me but that's just me anybody else they could be like I don't care but for me I'm like nah I'd rather have like at least some kind type of labeling like color or number labeling system um pros many 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 colors and many shades and many sh in many shades I should say like you got purples blues browns you got some grays in here well not a lot of grays but you can still work with that blues I think I said blues already greens yellows it's even like like I said so many different shades of each color well most of them like there's some some I can see as potential skin tones as well which is always a plus in my book so well y'all colors everywhere where am I gonna store these how am I gonna store these that yeah 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 that yeah ah problems <laughs> so here are all the markers want some fun already section off some that I'm no I'm gonna be using for the skin tone and I guess for right now they're just gonna have to sit in this cup but obviously um I'm not gonna use all of these markers that would be a very daunting test or at least I'm not going to use them all today maybe perhaps in another art piece but as today nope I'm not even gonna attempt that but I will try to showcase the quality of these markers I did a quick little picture and I'm gonna try to use as much as I think I need necessary in this picture and um, yeah test the quality of these markers and see how they actually stand up alrighty Let's get started.
like I said, I didn't use all of these, obviously, but um, the ones I did use, they worked okay. I think these markers overall are okay. Would I recommend these to anyone for the price and how much you get compared to like, I guess you can say name brand ones like Tombow or any of the other um dual ended brush markers i would say yes because of all the colors and all the markers you get i know with tombow you get like 99 these is like a 60 60 thing in a whole pack with tombow you have to buy like well i know you could probably buy them all together but that would cost you a pretty penny this this cost me all these markers cost I believe 12 13 dollars plus shipping so it ended up to be like 15 16 which isn't bad they're um they're a little bit cheaper than my Statler or Steatler um my fine liners and the only reason why I'm comparing them to this is because the fine tip is basically the same on the Seattle one, but you get a lot more colors with this. You get a lot, a lot more colors with these. And overall, I enjoyed working with them. They didn't really activate very well. It could just be me, or it could just be the paper I was working on. I'm working on, um, oh my gosh, what paper is this? Canson XL watercolor paper. So it, it could just be the paper. It could have just been me. But, I mean, overall, you know, when, when you learn a new art supply and things don't go exactly the way, you know kind of how to finesse it and everything turns out okay in the end. Like this whole picture, I actually like this a lot. And this is my first time actually doing lace. And yeah, overall I'd say this picture was a success. And for the most part, I like these markers. Again, the cons, they're not labeled. You have to make your own color chart. And I guess you would have to go with tape individually around and like number them or name them or whatever you want to do with them. That was a drawback for me because I already can't keep up with graphic and something like this. I'm like, oh, well, there goes the end of that. I mean, again, you can arrange the colors any way you want to, but if they're not labeled, no real reason to do that. And yeah, so have to watch yourself like some people i don't really do that but some people will have two markers out and both tops off and then accidentally like put the top on another one i mean unless you're like looking at the colors closely you know that could be an issue pros like i said compared to like name brand you get more bang for your buck and you get a lot of colors so yeah but yeah had a good time with these uh my brain is dead dying right now but anyway hope you all enjoyed this video hope you stick around for our next videos and i will see you guys later bye bye oh my outros are horrendous